Okay, so pretty much this is a Roblox tutorial. I'm actually going to be showing you today how to get your own avatar or any avatar you want. Uh, well, I think it's only your own avatar you can get into um, Blender. So you first want to go in the description, get the two plugins, one for Blender and one for Roblox. You want to make sure you have Roblox Studio installed and Blender installed. And once you have the plugin for Roblox, you hit install. It'll take you to Roblox Studio. Once you're here, you want to um, make a new base plate. Once you're in, just delete the spawn pad bit, and you go ahead to plug plugins, and you go to character inserter, and then you have your character, you want to go to old R15, insert, okay once your body's in you can just remove that bit, you'll go down to the bottom right where it says origin position, you want to put 0, 0, 0, enter, and then you should be halfway in the ground like this, once you've done that, press the little blender animations thing, just click them and if it does that just do that again there's zero comma zero comma zero go up here to export rig once you've done that you want to go to where you want to save it name it wherever you want i've already done this so once you do that press save you can save this if you want but i'm not going to and once you're in blender and press general you want to get rid of the default cube or default monkey whatever one you have go up here to, to the Top left where it says edit, preferences, add-ons, install, and then to locate where you installed the plugin, it will be called Roblox Blender 2.py. Press install add-on. And it'll come up with it. It'll be grey like this. And just press a little check mark like that. And then you just press X. So once you've done that, you want to uh, go to the top left where it says file. Press import. Press RBX animations. Go to where you saved the export from uh, Roblox Studio. Take it. And it should be here. Now don't do anything. And if you render it, it may look transparent. We're just going to get to that. As you see, it's transparent. We're just going to get to that. Okay, now you have your character here. Press N, or you can just press this little thing here. Go to RBX Animations. Rebuild Rig. Okay. Make sure you don't move him from out the ground. After you've done that, you can move them uh, just by pressing the skeleton. And after you've done that, if you want to make them non-transparent, like this, pretty much you want to go to and select, go ahead and select every part, except from uh, the skeleton and all that, so you select every body part, except from the skeleton. With this little like, circle thing, it may be red for you, but I've just got a different skin on. Once you're here, Go to the bottom, where right underneath settings, where it says blend mode. Make sure these are both set to opaque. Once it's set to opaque, it should look like this, but it's still a tiny, tiny bit transparent, but you can't really see that. Once you've done that, come here to spectacular and type in 0 0.500. Once you've done that, go to roughness and point 0 0.400. Now, if you want to hide it, you just press H, and then if you want to bring it back, you press Alt-H to bring it back. Now there you go. You have your own avatar in Blender now. Now you can uh, select the skeleton, press up here where it says Object Mode in top left. Pose Mode. And you can move any parts of the body you want. As you can see, move any of the parts. Move the hands. You can move the little feet. And if it only comes up with this, double tap R and it'll come up with this. If you want to move the whole body, you have to click the one right here. And you can move the whole body. I'm just going to do a little sam sample animation right now. Before you animate, you want to press, once you're in pose mode, you want to press A. Make sure they're all highlighted in blue. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead here where it says keying. Go here, where it's underneath active keying set. Go and click this blank box. Location and rotation. Click that. Once you've done that, you want to make sure everything's still selected. Press I. It should say this at the bottom and it should come up with a little blue dot. And then press this little thing here. Once you've done that, you want to just uh, start animating. Oh yeah, and um, also, you might want to come to here, the little second one down from the camera thing. You want to go here to frame rate. And... Uh, if you want really smooth but fast animations that are a little bit fast, you'd go for 60. But for Roblox animations, I'd go for 24 FPS. 
Coming on to positioning the camera, you want to press your numpad at zero, and if you don't have a numpad, you just want to press this little camera icon here. And then once you've done that, you want to hold shift and tilde, and you should be able to control it with WASD and the mouse. Once you've done that, just position it however you want. And you can drag up here. At once it does that, you can drag a little window here, press the camera thing, press the render. And now you have a little view part like this. I'll just hide there. So once you've done that, you want to continue with your animation. This comes up where it says you can't make keyframes for your camera. Delete the camera. Go back to object mode, hold shift and A. Comes up with this, press camera. Go back to the little camera uh, thing. Once you're here, you just do the same thing, where you go shift and comma. Position it how you like. Once you've done that, you should be able to set keyframes now, as you, see, as you can see. If the camera looks a little bit rigid, if you've made this little window here, then you can just go to the top right where this little hashtag thing with the ball is. Once you're here and you open this menu, press graph editor. And make sure you press A, and all of them are selected. Um, you can hold Alt Shift O, and it'll make blank um, camera movements for the bits you haven't filled in. And you press Alt and O to make it smoother, and you can press a bunch of times to make it even more smoother. If you don't like it, you know, you just make it more and more and more smoother. And once you're done with that, you can just click the little lens up here, and then go back to 3D viewport. And then you should have your camera back. Now, but if you'd want to just like see this final bit here, if you want to render this whole bit, you normally go to rendering. You don't need to, but this is where I tweaked all my settings, make them all right. EV is to render really fast. Cycles is really high definition, but it'll take longer. Um, so, event collision on, bloom on sometimes. Motion blur, I'll put that on. Simplify is making it quicker. I'll put that on. There's also a denoise, but I don't think I've got. Oh, yeah, denoise in a minute. Uh, jitter camera. I think it's here. No. Okay, so you want to make sure you go here to the second app there, file format, make sure it's AVI, um, FM, FFmpeg video, make sure it's that, and then hold control and F12, and then it should start rendering. As you can see, it's rendering, frame by frame. While that's going on in the background, I'll show you how to export it to Roblox, so you can do it in Roblox Studio. So you want to press N, oh, you first have to go lay out. He's back so it's better for rendering now. Go to the RBX animations, export animation. And then once you've pressed export animation, don't touch anything else. Go to Roblox Studio. Hopefully you saved um saved your template before, but if you, if you didn't, then it's fine. So go back to where you have your guy in the floor. And you want to actually take him out of the floor now. Just take him here. Once you've done that, you want to go to plugins. Once you went to plugins, blender animation. Select your model. Press import animation. Press allow, if it says that. Import animation again. Control V. And your animation's here. Oh there. Well that's it guys, that's uh, how to get your animation into Roblox Studio from Blender and how to animate in Blender. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments. And this is the final rendered animation from Blender.